Hey everyone, Kelly here with today's Hip Tips. And today on episode 32, we are going to be talking about creating a clean workspace. <sighs> Did you hear that? I just knocked my glue over. I don't know about you, but anytime I have to get work done, I have to have a clean desk. I can't have a lot of things crowding me. I need to be able to move my arms or take my calendar and put it in front of me and have space to write in it while I look at my computer. And I'm sure that with you doing MP online and watching videos and interacting with your instructors that you also need a clean space. And working at the kitchen table or working at a desk that's messy makes it really hard to do that. So today I'm gonna to give you a few tips on how you can make that workspace a little bit cleaner. And just so that you have a nice tidy area, it feels good to be able to walk into my office in the morning, my work in the morning, and see that there's nothing on my desk so I don't have to clean it the next day. Also, if you work in a public place, it is professional to keep a clean space. You may have guests coming in to visit that'll walk by and see the desk, or maybe like me, you share a desk with other people, and leaving your stuff all over the place is not only impolite, but it's just kind of gross. So the first tip I have for you is any trash needs to go in the trash can. If you have a old cup or maybe an old plate or maybe just a wrapper laying around, get all of the trash off and put it in the trash can. The second thing is, well, the next thing with the trash is cleaning off dishes, dirty dishes, silverware. I know I have a really bad tendency of hoarding mugs and no matter where I go, whatever workspace I'm at, I have a mug on my desk. And the worst part of it is, is that most of the time they're filled with half old coffee and that's just not sanitary and it's just gross. So clean off those dirty dishes. Make it a habit of only having one glass on your desk that you take with you at the end of your day or the end of your classes when you're finished. So trash in the trash can dishes in the dishwasher, clean them off, and any type of recycled materials, they don't need to stay on your desk, so take them to the recycling bin. If you're not using them as scratch paper, make sure you take them away because it's just adding to the clutter on your desk. The second thing I do is I start organizing my materials. I have a can that has markers and crayons in it, and then I have a can that has my writing utensils. So. I'm grabbing some of my pens that are on my desk and I'm just gonna collect them and put them with my pens. And you may not have something like this, so it might be good to have an old recycled can to put your pens and pencils in, your markers. If you really like to be organized, you can have them all separate. That way you know exactly where to grab from. Another thing is, is I like to craft and paint from my desk. So all of my craft sticks um, and Popsicle sticks are in the same jar. And I have a pin in here, so that's not really organized. So I'm gonna take it out and move it to my pin jar. All right. Then I start organizing. So I have glue and tape and I have them together. So then I start organizing these containers that have my pencils and crayons and markers in them to one side of my desk. You can put them in the back of your desk. You can put them on the sides. I don't have anything behind my desk and I don't have a wall, so it's just open. And if I put stuff right there on this back side, I'm more likely to knock it off. So I put it on the side in an area where I'm not gonna be walking. So I'm gonna turn this you can see. So I have my craft sticks, I have my pens, my crayons, and I'm going to put my tape under here and then I'll put my glue back here. My paint can go with my utility stuff. And then I like to put my office supplies in another can. So staples in a stapler. And I borrowed this from MP, it's gonna go back. All my post-it notes that I have, I like to stack together and make sure that they're all organized. Whatever post-its that I don't need though, I'm gonna remove them from my desk. I also have another habit of putting post-its all over the place. And as much as that helps me stay on task, 
and keeps my mind fresh of all the things I need to do, it gets very messy very quickly because post-it notes will fall off or maybe I have one from last week that I didn't take off. So I like to go through them and throw away the ones that I don't need for this week or that I'm not ever going to use. And then I like to stack up the rest of them and put them together. Again, even further, if you like to be super organized, you can separate them by color. I also have a stack with all of my post, uh, not my post-its, my index cards. And I like to save all of my old hip tip stuff. So I put them on the bottom of my post-it or my index stack so that I don't see them. I also like to light a candle while I'm working. I put that in my um, workspace and just removing any type of junk. Here's my scissors and what I'm going to do last is there's a lot of dirt on my desk so the best way to clean that off if you're in a professional workspace is to wipe it off into your hand and then go throw that in the trash and then spray down a rag with some uh, water or if you have Clorox wipes, I can't find any right now, and just wipe down your desk. If you're at home and you're going to vacuum, you can wipe the crumbs on the floor, but make sure you vacuum. And just wiping it down. I would say wiping it down every other day. If you're sharing the desk with somebody else, wipe it down every day. That way they have a clean workspace that they can walk into. And it also keeps the number of germs down too. Something that we can all get in the habit of doing when we get back to my possibilities is just using all of the materials that we need and not what we don't need. And then keeping our workspace clean, not cluttering a bunch of um, tables with stuff, not having all the crayons out that you can use, just taking one out at a time and reducing the amount that we touch on our workspaces. If you're like me and you have calendars or papers that you like to write on while you're working, I oftentimes organize them in a stack on my desk. So here's my calendar and then here's my clipboard. And whatever papers I need go on this clipboard. If I don't need them that day, I put them in a drawer. That way I don't have to worry about a bunch of extra stuff cluttering my space. And with my headphones, I like to put them in the corner. And now I feel like I have a nice, tidy workspace. So don't forget, the best thing you can do is to just throw away the trash, make sure the dishes are gone, and clean up as much as you can on the surface. That way, you just have a little bit more space than you did. Maybe you have a bunch of materials on your desk that you don't necessarily need or use all the time. Take them, put them somewhere else. I don't necessarily need to use the crayons, but I like to have them on the desk just in case. But if I start going a few weeks without using them, I'm probably gonna take them off my desk and put them in a drawer. That way I have a little bit more space to spread out. No matter how you do it, don't forget, it's important to sanitize, throw away the trash, and just try to organize based on category. And then that'll help you have a nice clean workspace so you can get work done and focus on what you need to do. And if anyone else needs to use that space, it's ready for them. All right, you guys, I hope that you have a great day. And let me know in the comments below how you keep your workspace clean. All right, see you later.